years. Sound travels at about 760 miles per hour, or 340 meters per second. That's about 661 knots on an average day at sea level. Each section of air is spontaneously reacting to the temperature and pressure changed, induced by the aircraft's body sliding past. Then there are the shock waves. Shock waves are formed by the air that <laughs> aircraft actually usually produce two booms. They just reach us so quickly in succession that we can't distinguish the two. All of these factors are quite normal and have come to be expected in images that capture supersonic, transonic, or even near supersonic flight. But on rare occasions, we do get a glimpse of something special. At Kennedy Space Center on February 11, 2010, an Atlas rocket launched into ideal conditions for showing off shockwave. And this is the result. We hope you've enjoyed.